Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Derek, and today I'm going to make a video that I should have made just a while back, but I didn't. So I want to clarify some things with a video I made months ago about a user named Afro Gamer Dude. Now, before we get started, if you're watching this, do not go after him. He actually quit YouTube, from what I can tell, took all his videos down um, due to a uh, I forget what what happened. I don't know if he got swatted or something something happened he got doxxed that's what it is he got doxxed um and it was bad for him and he ultimately ended up taking down his channel so one thing i was want to talk about and i see this a lot in the comments of that video right now that video that i made a few months ago has a pretty bad ratio 15 likes 21 dislikes now it's probably one of the largest videos i've done in terms of viewership. I think it's up to almost 600 uh, views, give or take, but I'm not sure. But the main thing I want to actually talk about, and sorry for my stuttering, if you guys have been watching my videos, you know I stutter quite a bit. So if you're, you know, from the Afro Gamer Review channel and you're like, this fat nerd is stuttering, he can't talk. That's just me, man, that's just me. But anyways, let's go ahead and talk about it. So basically what his channel equated to he went after youtubers basically calling them e-beggars or stuff like that and a lot of these youtubers larger angry joe dreamcast guy stuff like that and metal jesus rocks uh these are big channels so with big channels comes opportunities for sponsorships the youtube partner program they also have things like patreon and donations which I think what the problem is with Afro Gamer Guy, he's upset about shilling to sponsors like what's the Dollar Shave Club or the one you shave your nads? Man Trimmer, that's it. Yeah, Man Trimmer. He's kind of salty about that. Now, I understand where he's coming from on an e-beggar standpoint. If you accept the donations, that's fine. But if you get on your YouTube channel or Twitch and be like, Hey, please pay for it. Please pay for my shit. Uh, you, you're a piece of shit if you don't uh, donate to me. Please go to my Patreon, you pieces of shit. That's that's basically what he's saying on all his videos that I've watched. Now, I've watched a few of them, and I've got a response back from some of the people in his community, which one was pretty interesting today. So I woke up and I saw one saying, if basically, let's let's see what that says. Let's see what it says. I'll show you actually. I will show you everything that that guy said. Here we go. Here we go. So if you earn money off YouTube, that's e-begging. End of the day. So Afro was exposing all the frauds who make money off YouTube, and it's that simple. No, no, dude. Fuck no. That's not how it works. Again, if you're on there saying you have to pay for my shit, like making you feel bad, that's eBay. That's totally eBay. Now, if you're just making money off sponsors and somebody decides to throw a donation your way and you didn't ask for it, that's not eBay. According to this comment, that's what it is. So anybody on YouTube that makes just a little bit of money from small YouTubers to large YouTubers, they're all e-beggars, apparently. And that's kind of one of the things I've noticed about Afro Gamer Dude. That for a few of the videos he's watched, now he does he does a good job, you know, trying to make the content interesting. Um, but there's things about his content that just piss me off, and there's a reason why I made that video in the first place. And we actually streamed that streamed that we took that from a stream because we talked about his videos and just pointed out like one of his things he's a troll. So he attacks YouTubers by making fun of, you know, their voices or if they're poor or if there's anything like that. He's actually the lowest form of troll. So one of the guys he went after was Metal Jesus Rocks, as well as Dreamcast guy. Mostly attacking him because you have a bad voice or you have an opinion on a video game. Who gives a fuck? Really. YouTube, a lot of the channels and stuff like that, gaming related. That's only opinions. Now you can sit there. He's talked about No Man's Sky, Dreamcast guy, did a long time ago. He actually enjoyed it when it first came out, but everybody else saw it as a piece of shit. And it was. It really was. 
But I can't say to Dreamcast guy, hey, you're a piece of shit because you like No Man's Sky the first day it came out. He may have enjoyed that. Though, he may have said some things that are borderline, you know, not true. And Dreamcast guy kind of does that. He kind of overemphasizes things and makes things seem grander than they actually are. But I like Dreamcast guy. He's a pretty good dude. From what I can tell, I've been following him for a long time. But one of the things he does to Afro Gamer, he makes fun of people how they make their content. Why he takes his phone and records his screen on his laptop. He doesn't use any video editing that I can see. Maybe on his other videos, but from the actual videos where he's attacking things, and you can see that on the Afro Gamer Dude content nuke that I made a couple months ago. He's actually just filming his laptop from his phone. Something you do, you would do right when YouTube started. That's how you got your game footage on here. And he made fun of other people the way they doing things. Now he's also making fun of people that have sponsors, Angry Joe. He has a sponsor, which is the Manscaped guys. A lot of YouTubers have that. I remember for the longest time, every YouTube video either had Manscaped or still today, Raid Shadow Legends. Now just because you accept sponsors does not mean you're a need beggar. So usually what happens is the sponsor approaches you. Now I don't have any uh, experience in that because I'm not a big channel. I'm not. I also, I accepted donations on Twitch, but I never asked for them. I never have. Never been like, hey, please donate to my channel and make me feel really happy and pay for all my bills. No, I never fucking did that. Not once. If you want to, you can go back and watch my whole library on YouTube. Most of the stuff that came out on YouTube also, I mean, on Twitch came here to YouTube. A lot of it. You can actually go back and see, did I actively go out and ask for money? No. Did I get donations? Yes. But I'm not an e-beggar. I never asked for you. That's, that's how donations work. Last time I checked, you don't ask for donations on Twitch. You put up, say, hey, I accept donations, but on my thing, it says you don't have to give me anything. You don't. You don't. Basically, what it boils down to is the people that's watching your content is what they are getting out of it. And if they think that, you know, it's great content and they want to support the channel, then they donate. That's how it goes. That's not eBay. And according to this guy, I'm not going to say his name. And, I, and here's a couple other things um, some people said. Uh, <clears throat> basically, every single comment on this video, not all of them, there's some that's for and some that's against Afro Gamer Guy. And I, again, I do feel sorry that he got doxxed. That is a horrible situation to be in. Uh, it's not fun. Yeah, fuck, did I even change my logo? Yeah, I just did a logo change just recently and I forgot to put it in my video. Ah, uh, who cares? But, anyways. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff on the video, and I think the video is called In Regards to Afro Gamer Dude, The Loneliest Troll on the Internet. If you want to go back and check that out, you can actually see what I did say. It's a little over an hour long, and, you know, I, I'm not straight up attacking him. I'm just calling out his bullshit and how he reacts to other YouTubers, and, you know, it's pretty salty. He's pretty salty. And I imagine he's pretty salty now, which definitely understand. Fuck, dude. Fuck doxing and all that shit. But yeah, I, I just wanted to make this video. And again, sorry for stuttering. You guys know me. I stutter a lot. It's, it's what psych meds do. So who cares? Oh yeah, that's not me making you feel sorry. For me. Don't, don't feel sorry for me. But anyways, anyways, that's all I have to say about that. Um, at the end of the day, if you're a larger YouTuber or Twitch, like right now on Twitch, I am a affiliate on Twitch, so there might be chances that if, you know, the stream does really good, I can get a cut from Twitch. Does that make me an e-bagger? According to some of the comments and stuff that is e-bagging and as well as being deceptive. And I will not ever do that. I never, never will. It won't happen. I'm not going to be deceptive and tell you you have to donate to me. You make sure you give me all your money and all that shit. Because I'm not an e-beggar. And 
I don't understand the dude's comment, but guys, like I said, you want to check it out. Don't go after these people at all. Don't do that. I do not advocate for that. Whatsoever. I don't. I don't. And I don't, you know, expect you guys to like this video as well. If you do, you do. If you don't, you don't. That's why we have opinions. That's why there's a like and dislike bar. Yeah, but if you haven't already, feel free to hit that follow button. Hit that subscribe button. I definitely would appreciate it. Oh, I did it. I did it. I just e -bagged. Oh, no. Oh, no. Damn. Yeah, anyways, yeah. Don't. Just do it. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later.